In the present world that we live in, it can be rather difficult to make whatever you're selling stand out from the rest of the competition. Why should people buy your products, what makes them worthy of your time, and how are they better than what other people are offering? This 100% applies to video games, this idea of individuality. What makes a game stand out from the rest of the crowd, and also its previous entries if it's part of a series. Many games will resort to gimmicks, a new idea exclusive to that game and only that game in hopes to draw people to playing. This can often work for the better or for the worse. Other games such as Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey will completely redefine what it means to play a game in that series. However, if you're Atlas, then you do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the All Out Attack. Atlas's way of saying this is our game and we want to make you know it. What exactly is this? Well, it's an option within Persona 5's battle system that allows you to rush the opponents if you manage to down them all at the same time. If this kills all of the opponents, you're greeted with this flashy card of the character you initiated the All Out Attack with. In my opinion, amongst other things of course, the All Out Attack is what gives Persona 5 its individuality, allowing itself to stand out above many other games out there. You may be thinking to yourself, but finishers aren't exclusive to Persona 5, there are many other games out there that include this. The Final Smash, Z-Moves, Ultimate Attacks, Fatalities, the list goes on. So how can such a thing make Persona 5 stand out when so many other games incorporate this into their own battle systems? Well, for starters, the all-out attack is made out to feel as if it's a reward for finishing a fight that's not too in your face. In most fighting games, these finishes are quite lengthy and incredibly flashy. This isn't to say it's a bad thing, in fact, it works in the context of a fighting game. You're rarely going to see these throughout a fight, so having a big, flashy and lengthy finisher achieves this rewarding feeling. This wouldn't really work within Persona 5. Now, of course, the Showtime attacks prove me wrong, but what I mean to say is that having these big big flashy finishes at the end of every single fight just wouldn't work. It'd end up being tedious to watch and a waste of your time. However, the all-out attack doesn't do this. It's quick, it's simple, and yet it's still flashy. Persona 5's fights are quite quick, so having this fast reward matches perfectly with the battle system. It doesn't feel tedious, and it never really loses its charm because of this. The ability to adapt to the speed of its game's battle system, combined with this uniqueness and simplicity, allows the all-out attack to stand out against all of these other finishers that exist. Another point that I want to bring attention to is the fact that the all-out attack feels fluid and is able to match the characters initiating the finisher. The all-out attack can be activated pretty much as soon as you knock down all of the enemies. It doesn't waste your time and therefore flows incredibly well with the fight. Let's compare this to Z moves from Pokemon Sun and Moon. The initiation is incredibly slow and wastes your time by telling you the obvious through text boxes. Additionally, these Z moves don't really mix well with the Pokemon using them. Let's take a look at two cannon using Supersonic Sky Strike, for example. Although it is funny, it doesn't really do the Pokemon justice and doesn't add any additional charm onto the character. I know I'm not addressing the specific Z moves which do achieve this, but more often than not, you're going to be using the generic finishes. Persona 5 on the other hand complements the characters using the all-out attack with this nice little card packaged with the character posing, a nice background and a tagline. Let's take a look at Haru's for example. Haru's pose has her sipping tea which fits her character. The background is quite elegant and the tagline adieu makes Haru feel rather upper class, which as well fits her character incredibly well. It adds charm instead of taking it away, unlike Pokemon Z moves. For all of these reasons, Persona 5's ability to make their finisher flow well and also give its own character's additional flair adds to Persona 5's own individuality. This helps allow the game to stand out above the competition with how impressive the all-out attack looks. So that's how Persona 5 stands out above other games out there, but how does it do against games within its own series? This one's an easy one to answer. I want you to take a look at the all-out attacks from Persona 3 and 4. There's one key thing that these all-out attacks are missing, and that's character. This isn't to say that there's none at all. Before initiating these all-out attacks, you receive a prompt from one of your characters asking if you want to initiate it. This is a lot better than just starting on your own and makes it feel like your team is actually communicating. You get to see the portraits of your characters before the attack starts, which again makes them feel more like a team. However, the one thing that these attacks lack that Persona 5 has is individual character. Once again, going back to these character cards, there is one for every single character you can play as, even Futaba if you're playing the royal version. Although I've already praised them enough, they do an amazing job at reeling you in and attaching you to these characters. Of course, it's no substitute for the actual character development that the game gives them, but when watching these all-out attacks, you really get the sense of how cool these characters are. The pose, the tagline, everything. It makes these characters stand out and that's exactly what you want in a game focus so much on characters. To conclude all of this, from my perspective, the all-out attack is what gives Persona 5 its individuality. It helps it stand out from all other games out there, especially ones that already have finishes. The game manages to do this through having these all-out attacks flow incredibly well with Persona 5's battle system, as well as making sure that each and every separate all-out attack reflects the character's personality accurately. These attacks are also a big step up from Persona 3 and Persona 4's all-out attacks. Although it might be small, they allow an 
enable each character to stand out from one another, which is needed in a game focused so much on characters. At the end of the day, why did I make this video? I don't know. I just really like the all-out attack. <laughs>